Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I are on a journey to become debt-free using a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing method because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. All right, you guys, well, welcome back to another cash stuffing video. Before I jump into my cash stuffing, I have some happy mail that I want to unbox. So I actually have three really fun things to unbox today. So we're gonna get started with, we'll do smallest to biggest, how about that? So this first one has a address on it. So I'm just gonna flip it over. I have no idea what this is, but you guys know me, I love opening happy mail. I'm gonna need one of those things that Erica from Black and Blue uses because this butter knife is not nearly as pretty as what she uses. Oh, that's really pretty. Look at this. Hi, Emily. I received the A6 Chic Wallet and Keychain. They look great together. Looking forward to seeing your winter collection. You have a beautiful soul. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the free savings challenge. God bless you and your family, Angela. I've never gotten a thank you card before like this. Thank you, Angela. So whenever I get handwritten notes like this, I have a board in my office and I always hang them up on my board for a while because they just bring me so much joy. This made my day, Angela. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I literally don't know what I did to deserve so many amazing people in my life. This is just beautiful. Thank you for making my day, Angela. Oh my gosh. So this next one comes from the Still Trying Mama. And I had a little bug that this was coming and I know I know exactly who it's from and I'm so excited because I know she's gonna watch this video. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at this stuff, so cute. I think it has my name on it. Oh my gosh. They call it Happy Mail because it just makes you so happy. Like I'm just so giddy right now. What is all this cute stuff? Okay, so some stickers. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to hide these from Rowan because she's gonna try to steal them from me. These are so cute. Okay, let's read what this says. Hiya, Emily. I hope you like the mini savings challenges. I created them my, the, the designs myself and did most of the cutting too. My mommy helped me with the laminating because the machine was hot. Yes, those machines get very hot. I'm giving you these because I think you have been very nice to us. Therefore, I asked my mommy if I could create these for you. I would love, if, love it if you could let me know what you think of these challenges. My mommy is thinking of launching these mini savings challenges for me in her shop, but I want you to be the first to see them. Oh my gosh, sending lots of love, Faithy and Mama. So I love when Faithy comments on my videos and you guys go check out the Still Trying Mama on YouTube because her and Faithy both do cash stuffing and it is so ASMR. Like I love watching. So go check that out. The stationery is just adorable. Okay, so let's check out these savings challenges. These are cute. These are like bookmark size, which is perfect. And I love how they're all like in the same like color palette. I want someone to look at me the way I look at fast food. Oh my God, this is so cute. Look at that. So then you can color them in. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So $20 is what you'd save here. Life is uncertain, eat dessert first. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So another $20 you would save here. I'm so excited for you to launch these in your shop. These are going to be so popular. And you guys, the laminating is really good. Really, really good. And like the corner rounding, just like on point. I only drink boba tea on days that end with Y. I love boba tea. These are so cute. Sam's Club used to have the most amazing boba tea mix and it's been out of stock for like eight months. I have a PhD in breakfast to studies. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cute. I'm not saying I'm a snack, but I'm definitely a treat. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are so amazing. Faithy, thank you so much for sending me these. I've had this package for a few days now and I've been literally dying to open it. So 
Oh, I'm absolutely in love. You guys, Faithy loves it when we comment on her videos, so I will try to get better at that. I'm watching. I'm always watching. I might not always be commenting, but this is so cute. Thank you so much for sending these to me. Absolutely love it. So you guys go check out, like I said, the Still Trying Mama on YouTube. All right. And then this package, I like kind of knew was, I mean, I knew this was coming. I didn't know it was going to be this big though. So this is going to be a, a fun surprise for all of us. But you guys know her and love her. Erica at Making It Bling. So I'm like, how cute is this? I'm obsessed. Absolutely love it. So the thing I thought was coming is like not that big. So, oh my God, look at her packaging is so cute. Okay, so she has her card right here. This is the cutest, look at this, look at this little baby paper clip. It's so cute. I love collecting paper clips for my planner. Oh, and stickers. Emily, you are amazing. Love you, girl. I love you too, Erica. Do what's right, not easy. Okay, so I'm gonna have to give this one to Rowan because she's obsessed with unicorns. This is so stinking cute. I love it. Oh my. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. I rave about this all the time. So this is the fingertip moistener in the large size. Oh my God. So it's funny because my sister started working in my shop yesterday, like officially. And so she was cutting some stuff for me with the paper cutter. And I was like, that would be so much easier if you use this. And I got my fingertip moistener out for her. And she was like, oh my God. So I'll show you guys what it is though. So it's blinged out, like beautiful. And if you guys didn't know this, Erica uses like the highest quality rhinestones, like absolutely gorgeous. So this is fingertip moistener and um, you're supposed to remove this before use. It's so hard to do anything with these nails. Give me one second, you guys. Okay. So this is what it looks like. And you just like Rub your fingers like this and it makes counting cash super easy. I also use it to make um, my cash envelopes and really anything that has to do with paper. I used to just like, I had a spray bottle in my office and I would spray water on my fingertips and it just made my hands really dry and I was doing it like every two minutes. But this stuff, this is like the holy grail. Like you guys have to go check this out and like do yourself a favor and just get it. It could be used for so many things. Thank you, Erica, you guys. And she gifted all of this to me. Like I saw that she had the large size and I messaged her and I'm like, I'm gonna need that. And she was like, I've already got it packaged up for you. <laughs> I was like, no way. So, okay, I don't know what else is in here though. This is all a surprise. <gasps> no, no way. Erica, you are too good to me. You are too good. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Okay, literally had to just go like take a little walk there for a second. Whew, okay. You guys, I'm gonna show you this and I'm gonna try not to cry here. <laughs> so first of all, she sent me, oh you, no you didn't Erica. Oh my God, you guys. So these are my favorite pens in the whole world and she blinged them. You are like the most thoughtful person in the world, Erica. Oh my God. Oh, guys, look at, oh, and Erica, I was watching your story when you were talking about the black rhinestones and how hard it is to find really good quality ones. I feel so spoiled. Oh my God. Like, I'm, 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 I don't have words. I'm speechless. This is the most thoughtful thing, Erica. Thank you so, so much. And every time I use them, I'm going to be thinking about you, Erica. I already think about you a lot, but... I'm gonna be thinking about you all the time. Okay, so this is what like has me all sorts of emotional, you guys. So she sent me this cup and it says free falling on it. Free fallen specifically, the Tom Petty song. So I just recently got a tattoo. Um, I'll put a picture up on the screen that says free fallen because my dad used to sing me this song when I was little and it's a really, really special song to me. So I don't even know what to say. This is so incredibly thoughtful and I just, I love the, the way that you do the rhinestones, like on the left side of all the letters, like I, it's so creative. It's so beautiful. It's so unique, Erica. This is, wow. I don't even know what to say. And she knows I've got an obsession with these. Um, like, look at the quality, you guys. I hope my camera is doing this justice. The quality of these rhinestones is just stunning. 
Oh my gosh. I gotta do a cash stuffing after this too. Um, oh my gosh. And then a straw for the cup as well. <gasps> With Erica's signature, Tiffany blue. Tiffany bluish green colored heart. This is so amazing, Erica. I don't, I don't know what I did to deserve you in my life, but for real, this is, oh, I can't even tell you how much this means to me. Thank you so much. So, so much. Oh, I'm going to need to like compose myself before I do this cash stopping. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Erica. Okay. I'm going to get set up for my cash stuffing. I'm going to take a minute and I'll be right back. Wow, you guys. Okay. When I said happy mail, I meant happy mail. That was probably some of the most fun happy mail I have opened in a long time. Bafey, thank you so much. Angela, thank you. Erica, thank you. You guys just blessed me beyond belief today. And I am just soaking in the gratitude right now. Like I just, oh, I love my life. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I also wanna point this out. So this ring, I just unboxed this in my cash envelope category video that I'll be posting on Saturday, so the day before this video, but I wanted to bring this up again because it's for a really important cause. In the, so this ring is from Julia Jewelry. So Julia Jewelry has partnered with the National Breast Cancer Foundation and they launched this beautiful collection. It's called Divine Love. $2 for every sale will be donated to the National Breast Cancer Foundation. And its purpose is basically just to provide, you know, mammograms and breast health services to women who need it. And it really just makes a difference for those facing breast cancer and saving lives through early detection. So I said it in my last video, I'm gonna say it again. Now is a perfect time to do a self-exam if you have not in a while. There are plenty of resources online on how to do a self-breast exam, but as somebody who's had a scare in the past, I highly recommend doing it. And if there's anything suspicious, go get it checked out, all right? So let's get started with today's cash stuffing. So today I'm gonna to be cash stuffing a total of $1,190. I'm gonna warn you guys ahead of time, it's gonna be a bit of a hot mess. I just redid some of my categories. And so my cash planning sheet is gonna be all over the place because I did my cash planning before I switched out my categories. So I have different categories and different binders now. And I also, I'm gonna to have to reallocate some of my money into different places. So it's gonna be a bit of a hot mess. There's, I'm going to end up with probably some extra cash at the end, and so we'll just pick some envelopes to put it in. But I'm getting rid of my Sam's Club envelope, and so I'm going to just add this in here. So we're actually stuffing a bit more than I originally said, but we're going to figure it out. At the end of the day, it's it's all our money. We're just trying to like put it where we think it should go. And that being said, because I redid all of my envelopes... I am gonna be giving away my old envelopes in the 20K giveaway. So if you were not able to watch last week's cash stuffing, go back and watch that. Because I'm adding this into the giveaway, I am gonna extend the giveaway through the end of next week. So we're gonna we're gonna draw it out one more week just to give you guys a chance to get entered into the drawing if you haven't already. So you're gonna to wanna to go back to last week's cash stuffing video to find out A, what I'm giving away and B, how you can get entered into the drawing because I am adding three more winners with these cash envelopes. So let's get started with my wallet. And I'm not gonna do change today because my change is in my purse, my purse is in my car. I gotta get this video done so I can go pick my kids up from school. So we're gonna skip the change today, but I will be putting it into my change container. I am gonna take out my receipts to scan into my Fetch Rewards app, which is basically an app that you scan in your receipts and then those receipts turn into points and those points will then turn into gift cards. Like you can redeem them for gift cards. So I'll put my referral code up on the screen as always in case you wanna take advantage of some referral points. So if you use my code, once you scan your first receipt, you're gonna get points and I'll get points towards gift cards, which is pretty sweet. So, all right, groceries. Um, we have $10 left in there. I budgeted 15 and I think I'm just gonna put the entire amount into my wallet because our envelope and our sinking funds binder is still pretty good. I think we've got about $85 in there. So the other thing I was going to point out is this band-aid. I'm sorry, this is not very like fun to look at, but underneath this band-aid is a huge cut because I got myself with my paper cutter. So um, it's pretty healed at this point, but it's still it's not fun to look at. So I didn't know, I didn't want to like bother anyone with that, so I just covered it up with a Band-Aid. So my personal spending money, I have $16 left over, so we'll be stuffing that into our savings challenge. 
And I am going to grab money out of our low priority sinking funds for my personal spending cash. And since it's the second week of October, I'm gonna do 40 again. So I just redid my wallet envelopes, but I wanted to put the aesthetic dollar on them because people were telling me I needed to have like my name on my videos because I guess people can steal videos. I don't know, guys. I'm so new to all this still. <laughs> so I'm like, I'll just put my name on my envelopes because then, then I don't have to worry about it when I'm editing photos or um, editing videos, like putting a watermark on something. I just have it on my envelopes. So that's why I redid my wallet ones. So I'll give my old wallet ones away. Well, they're not old. They're brand new. I just made them, but you know what I'm saying. Eating out is getting 10. And sorry about my voice. It is, it cuts in and out lately. My allergies are full force. So drinks is getting 20 as usual. Kids, what did I budget for kids? I did 25 this week. Hmm, I'm gonna do 20 in my wallet and then we'll do five in our sinking funds envelope. Nails I'm not stuffing this week. And then kindness. For miscellaneous, I did I did two 20s again. So actually miscellaneous is in high priority. So we'll take a five out of there. I gotta remember next time to take some fives out because my cash planning sheet says two 20s. All right, so kindness now has five. And I just left a $5 tip at Starbucks. I usually don't tip that much, but that's why I have that envelope. I was just feeling it, you know? I really liked the barista. She was super sweet and super friendly and like asked me what I was doing later that day. Like she, she was just really nice. I'm like, I'm gonna tip you a lot. Okay, so let's move on with our high priority sinking funds. So groceries I already stuffed. And like I said, you can see there's, we've got quite a bit in there. So I think we'll be good for now. Clothing, we're stuffing 60 this week. So now clothing has 51, 52, 10, and 20. So 220. I think next week I'll be filming my cash condensing. And if you notice the lighting changing, it's like partly cloudy outside and really windy. So like the, the sun keeps going like behind the clouds and then peeking back through. So beauty is a new envelope. It's replacing the hygiene envelope, which is getting 15 this week. So now beauty has 100, 152, 253, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75. So 375 in beauty. And this covers everything, like shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, new toothbrushes, makeup, um, hair stuff for my girls, you know, ponytails, anything like that. Household this week is going to be getting $30. So now household has 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 210. So the font on these envelopes is the same font. It's just not as bold. And I said this in my last video because some people are like, I can't see, like, can't see the categories. You can see them in person. Maybe not on camera as well, but in person, um, you can definitely see them. So um, I'm actually stuffing 40 in self-care, which is my uh, old nails envelope. But I recently decided that I don't really do much for myself. I color my hair at home. Um, I really don't do a whole lot for myself. So every once in a while I decided I'm gonna get a pedicure along with my, with my fill. So I'm just gonna stuff a little bit more in there. And then, you know, if this accumulates quite a bit, then I don't know, maybe I'll go rogue and get my hair colored by a professional. <laughs> we'll see. Baby Needs is going to be getting $10. So now Baby Needs has 20, 30, 40, 45. Pet Care is getting 40.
we did make the appointment for our dogs to go get groomed. So now we have 51, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, $270. We also use this for like dog food and I mean anything related to our dogs. So Abby is still missing. I'll never give up hope though that she'll come back. Date night. I moved to high priority because I want to start prioritizing Chris and I spending more time together. So date night is getting 10, even if that's something simple like going to Chipotle, just the two of us. <laughs> 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars in date night. We probably won't do a date night necessarily this month. I mean, we'll see. We're going on our Colorado trip, so we're going to be spending like six full days together. Vehicle maintenance is getting a 50. So now it has one, two, 300, 354, 455, 556, 650, 670. I bet I'm due for an oil change soon. It's been a little while. Seasonal lawn care used to be in low priority. I moved it to high priority and it's getting 50. So now it has 500 set aside, 556, 20, 40, 60, 80, 680. So we did pull out of here for the lawnmower. And um, if you guys saw that in my community page here on YouTube, um, and then the rest we're saving for a new snowblower. So co-pays this week is going to be getting a 20. So now in co-pays you have 20, 40, 60, 80. And I did pull out of here. I got a massage this morning because my back was hurting so bad. Cash envelopes always take a lot out of my back. So I went and got a massage and I'm feeling a lot better. So I'm going to get back to work after filming and get working on custom cash envelopes. I'm almost half done with custom cash envelopes. Medical is getting a 50 this week. So now medical has... 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 50, 100, 150. So 1,150. Hockey is getting 75. So since we're not stuffing for the rink anymore, because that's fully funded now, um, what we would have stuffed in hockey rink, we're going to stuff it all in hockey because we just paid for the kids' hockey registration fees, which was like $400 or $500. So I want to get this envelope bulked back up in case they need any new equipment. So 51, 52, 53, 50, 350, 370, 75, $380 in hockey. All right, like I said, hockey rink is fully funded. So when we do our condensing, I'll put a placeholder in there. Tax prep is getting $20, and this is one of the envelopes I moved into high priority. I was just trying to like reposition my envelopes so that my binders had more of like an even number of envelopes in them. So tax prep now is 100, 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 25, 325. So our goal is to save up like six or 700, probably by like February. Miscellaneous is getting 40. So now miscellaneous has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 30, 40, 50. So 150. And this is just for like random things we forget to budget for. So once our miscellaneous envelope hits like I think 500, I'll just put a fully funded placeholder in there. Because that way if I'm like under budgeting for something, it's covered. And that's an example of like cash I'd probably keep on hand, that 500, instead of putting it into a savings account right now, keeping it on hand in this season, like right now, in the future, I would definitely put it in the bank. But when we hit January and we start doing all of our savings challenges because we're debt free, then we're going to be probably, I mean, not probably, we will be stockpiling all of that cash into a, our high yield savings account because that will be um, technically we'll be doing the savings challenges to complete baby step three of Dave Ramsey's baby steps, which is to save four to six months of expenses. We're just going to do it savings challenge style because it's more fun that way. So eating out is going to be getting 50. So I did 10 in my wallet. So we'll do two twenties in here. So now I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 40, 50, 60. 
makes me want to order pizza tonight. <laughs> Does anyone like that? It's like, oh, I've got a bunch of money there. Let's spend it. Also, I'm sick of cooking, you guys. We have a lot of money in here because we haven't been like eating out a ton or ordering pizza or whatever. So I'm like, I've been cooking a lot. I'm just, I'm having like cooking fatigue. And part of it's because I'm not meal planning like I said I was going to. Like that would f fix everything. But I just, I need to duplicate myself so that I can get that done. I need to like make time to do that, you know? So I budgeted 50 for drinks. I put 20 in my wallet, so I'm taking 30 from here. So now we have 20, 40, 50 in drinks. If we have extra money, I might stick it in here or in birthday parties because Rowan's birthday party is this weekend. So we need to probably stock the fridge a little bit more than what it is. So me and Chris's spending money was stuffed last week, first week of October. Kids is getting 25 and I think I put that all in my wallet. So, oh no, I put 20 in my wallet. We're putting five in here. That's what it was. So 20, 30, 35. So I was gonna go back to my old setup where it's like further away, like a wider view, like actually set my camera stand like up on the floating shelves, which are like above you. Um, but then I'm like, in case you guys wanna see my envelopes more up close, I figured I would do this this time. Family Fun is getting 20. So now it has 20, 40, 60. Antonio, our little through Big Brothers Big Sisters, it gets his regular 10. So now we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, $110 for Antonio. Birthday parties is one that I moved from my holiday sinking funds into, into my low priority. So birthday parties is getting 40. So we have $500 set aside. 520, 540, 560, $580. And her everything is basically purchased for her birthday party with the exception of the birthday cake that I need to pick up Saturday morning. Everything else is good. And balloons from the Dollar Tree, but you know, that'll be like eight bucks. So gifts is getting 20. So now gifts has 51, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 240. So home is a new envelope. I'm not going to stuff that yet. I'm going to see what I have left here. Cause remember I said it was going to be like a little bit of like a hot mess. <laughs> um, but this is going to be for like home decor, bedding, anything like not related to taking care of the house, but making it feel like a home. If that makes sense. Organizing my, my, Mental health envelope is going to be getting $10. So now we have 100, 10, 20, and 30. Renovations. Are we stuffing this? Yes, we are doing 50. So my husband took money out of here because we actually... We woke up Saturday morning. I just looked at him and I said, can you please get the trim in the kitchen done today? Like just, just, I mean, it's literally like a corner of the house and it's not much and it's so easy. I'm like, can we just do that? So he went and bought a bunch of trim. We didn't get it put up yet, but at least, at least we got that far. Memberships is fully funded right now. Back to school. I moved into low priority. So it's not really a holiday. Um, Back to school is getting 10. I'm actually there. So now it has 10, 20, 25, 30, 35. Because it doesn't matter what bills I put in here because when I do my condensing, I'll be getting rid of them anyway. And then travel is getting the 100 because I took our 10th anniversary envelope out of here because we're going on our trip soon anyway this month. So um, what I would normally have stuffed for that, I'm just going to stuff into travel. So now we have 100, 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80. So $280. And then I'll show you what I did with the money that was in our 10th anniversary envelope. So this is my binder. This is from the classic collection. And this is where I keep, like when I put a placeholder into one of my sinking funds envelopes. So for example, let's go to... Um, well, it's not in here, but 
Where did birthday parties go? Okay, so birthday parties. So I've got one for Christmas. So this is where I put our 10th anniversary money. And I just use these little things that I made. They're like a placeholder, but they have like the categories on them. Um, so birthdays. So the $500 placeholder right here, that $500 is in this envelope. And I put it in this binder and put this binder in our safe because this is money we're gonna be spending relatively shortly, right? Like it's not far, far out in advance, like two years away. We're literally gonna be spending 10th anniversary this month. We're gonna be spending Christmas probably starting this month up until December. The birthday party money we'll be spending. So if we're gonna be spending it, I keep it just set aside in that binder. I saw a question in the comments that's like, if you have a placeholder, but you spend some of that money and then you have to do your cash on stuffing, like what do you do with that? I, for the most part, keep the cash on us still because we are trying to create new habits and not spend. And when the money is tucked away, we are not gonna spend it. So that's what I personally do, but I know a lot of people put it straight back into the bank and I think that's awesome. And we will do that eventually. But right now, as we're creating new habits, I would rather just keep it in our safe because we're gonna be spending it soon anyway. And then I'm not getting confused with what, how much money goes in what category and so on and so forth. So anyway, hopefully that all makes sense. Um, let's get going though with our holiday sinking funds. So these are literally the holidays and the seasons. So Valentine's Day is getting five. So now Valentine's Day has 100, 110, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 130 dollars. When we hit 200, we're gonna stick a fully funded placeholder in here. Easter is gonna be getting a five as well. I'll be shocked if we hit 500 though. I only stuff five a week, so I mean we'll see. 50, 70, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 110 in Easter. 4th of July is also getting a five. So now it has 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. Halloween's getting a five. Every, I mean, we're like fully funded for Halloween. Like we've got everything we need. So I might move some of this money into Black Friday or something or Christmas, but 100, 150, 200, five and 10. So $210 in Halloween. So I might keep like 100 in here and then move the rest. Just talked about we are hosting Thanksgiving now. So um, I might, Thanksgiving's getting a 10. I might move it into here because now that we're hosting, you know, I'll, I'll need to buy more, more things. So 100, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35. 135 in Thanksgiving. Normally it's just used for groceries. <laughs> to bring to wherever we're having our meal, but since we're hosting, um, Black Friday is getting a 20. So now we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. So I said when we hit 500, we'll be fully funded in, in Black Friday. So it'll be like next week. Christmas is getting 50. So now we have 100, 200, two, well, okay, let me back up. So you have $1,500 set aside in our binder. And then we also have 16, 1700, 1750, 1800, 1850, 1900. And I don't know how much is too much for Christmas. I don't think, like the limit does not exist. <laughs> because whatever we have left over, like I'll, then I'll know, like we've never budgeted for Christmas. So it's like, if we've got 500 bucks left over, we've got a head start for next year and I'll know <laughs> we don't need 2000, that's way too much or it's not enough. I honestly have no idea. New Year's Eve is getting 10. So now it has 100, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 165. Same thing for New Year's Eve. I think I might want to like host something for New Year's Eve. Since we will have like the hockey rink, like it'd be fun for like the kids to have some friends over. They don't need to stay till midnight, but that'd be fun. Fall's getting 50. We need to go spend some of this money. October will be half over before we know it. 100, 150, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 360, 65, 70, 75, 375 in fall. 
Winter is getting a 10. So now it has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Spring is getting a five. So now it has 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. I think I counted that right. And then summer is getting a five. So we have 10. All right, and then seasonal decor is getting a 50. All right, so it has 100, 150, 200, 250, 270, 290 dollars in seasonal decor. All right, so um, this is the money that I think that I had pulled out of my Sam's Club envelope since we are kind of reallocating this. And now I can't remember which envelope I said I was going to stick it in. I think um, I'm going to add an extra 50 into Thanksgiving since. I just found out like this past week that, well, I didn't find out. I volunteered to host Thanksgiving. I'm so excited. I'm just, I love hosting. So we'll stick a 50 in there. And then I think, so there's a, I think maybe that envelope is not in here though. So I think I'm going to stick an extra 50 in hockey to start bulking this back up. And then the rest of this, since home doesn't have anything in it, I'm going to put it in here for now. But if I'm editing and I'm like, oh yeah, I was going to put it in that envelope, I might move it. We'll see. We'll see. All right, so that's it for my sinking funds. I'm gonna really quick put my rollover money into my savings challenges. And I counted these last week. I said I was, I'd was i count them first week of every month. When I do my cash condensing, I'm gonna condense this $1 savings challenge too here. So then the $5 savings challenge. So we just completed one tracker and now we're started on the second tracker. And then I'm just gonna count it all at the end of the year. So however much I can save before December 31st. Do you guys ever do that? I cannot close a marker without coloring on my hands in some way. Oh, I just remembered my bling pens, Erica. Oh my God. I'm gonna feel so fancy making my budget. We haven't stuffed a 10 in a while. Somebody asked me if I was gonna do the 100 envelope challenge again. Guys, when I say we're gonna go crazy with savings challenges, I mean we are gonna go crazy with savings challenges. And that means that I'm gonna be creating more savings challenges for me and for you guys because I'm going to actually be doing them and thinking about them. <laughs> so stay tuned. There's so many fun things to come the rest of this year into next year and beyond. I'm so excited. So, all right, you guys, well, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope this video blessed you in some way, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video.